What's up guys, Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I bring you guys an exciting giveaway sponsored by Gearbest. And as promised, today I'm going to be giving away an amazing smartphone. So this is the Blue Boo S1 bezel-less smartphone. This is one of the best budget bezel-less smartphones that you can buy for under $200. This is an international giveaway and for your chance to win, all you need to do is click on the Gleam link in the description box below. I've given you multiple chances of winning, so do make the most of them. Keep watching the video to find out how good this smartphone is. Now for a smartphone that is priced under $150, I have to say that this thing looks pretty impressive. The entire body is made from glass and plastic and gives a very premium and high quality look. You have a 90% screen to body ratio and you can still see a slight bezel going around the phone but nevertheless the phone looks nice and feels very comfortable in the hands. On the front you have a 5.5 inch LCD IPS display with a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080 and a pixel density of 401. The front glass is protected by Gorilla Glass 4. The screen is nice and bright with sharp colours and the viewing angles are also very good. The S1 is powered by a Helio P25 octa-core CPU running at 2.5 GHz. The GPU is the Mali T880. You have 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. Furthermore, this comes installed with the latest Android version 7 Nougat, a 3500 milliamp battery and USB Type-C fast charging. At the bottom of the device you have a home button and a fingerprint sensor built in. You also have the front facing camera located at the bottom right hand corner. The fingerprint sensor is actually very good. It unlocks the phone pretty quick and accurately every single time. So this smartphone is only 7.9 millimeters thin and weighs only 174 grams. At the bottom of the device you will find a microphone, the USB Type-C port and a speaker. On the other side you have a dual SIM card tray which can take up to two nano SIM cards or one micro SD card and one nano SIM card. On the opposite side you have a volume rocker and power button and there is nothing at the top of the device. So let's quickly see what you get in the box. A user manual, a clear smartphone case, a tempered glass screen protector, a power brick, a USB-C cable, a USB-C audio adapter, a SIM eject tool and last but not least the Blue Boo S1 itself. Multimedia and games look amazing on this device thanks to this beautiful 1080p IPS screen and the speaker is also quite loud and clear so let's check out a few samples. So this phone has a built in 3500 milliamp battery and that easily lasts around 1.5 days with medium to heavy usage. And this also supports USB Type-C fast charging. It takes around 2 hours to fully charge this phone and the battery will last around 1.5 days consisting of around 4 to 5 hours of on screen time so battery life is reasonably good. So coming to the cameras, so on the back you have a dual camera setup, 13 megapixels and 3 megapixels with an f2.0 aperture. And on the front you have a 5 megapixel selfie camera. So the camera is pretty much full featured, you have lots of options on the side including filters and professional mode. So let's check out a few samples.
So moving on to the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 24 and upload speeds of 9 megabits per second. This is quite a decent result considering the top speeds I currently get is between 20 to 30 megabits per second. So here are the Geekbench scores for single and multi-core. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we got a total score of 62,711. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing smartphone chart for 2017, showing you all the latest smartphones and seeing how they compare with each other. As you can see, the Blue Blue S1 has taken position 13 with quite a respectful score. And to make things a little more simplified, here is the best performing smartphones under $200. And again, all devices have been ranked by Antutu scores and you will see the Blue Blue S1 is at number three on this chart. I will now provide two charts with every smartphone I review, one comparing all the smartphones and the other comparing it to its own price bracket. So stay tuned, lots more to come. So there you have it guys, that was the Blue Blue S1 bezel-less smartphone. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. So here are my pros and cons for this device. Feel free to pause and read at your leisure. So this is an excellent smartphone for the price. I mean for under $150 you're getting a nice bright 1080p screen with high pixel per inch count giving you superb detail, color and sharpness. Furthermore, you have excellent specs and great performance. Battery life is pretty good, giving you around 1.5 days of usage, which is pretty standard stuff. You have fast charging, fingerprint sensor, Google Play Store, Android 7 and dual cameras. I mean, how did they manage all of this for such a low price? Coming to the cons. The phone is a fingerprint magnet, but it does not bother me at all. Just use the supplied case and you won't see any fingerprints on the back. Photos at night or low light is never good on any budget smartphone. And finally, there is no 3.5mm headphone jack. They did supply an adapter and you always have Bluetooth. Bottom line, for the price, it's very difficult to beat the specs and overall quality of this smartphone. And with that being said, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. And if you like it, you can of course go ahead and purchase one for yourselves. This is an international giveaway sponsored by Gearbest. Just follow the Gleam links in the description box below. Good luck to you all. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.